Hello there. In this video, we're going to do a very easy way animations, and most importantly, we're going to use it face swap in this animation. And you can create very short animation clips, fun ones that you can post on social media, or just like emoji. To do this, we're going to do use it animate div, and we'll go and use the reactor to install those. I will recommend go to extensions, go to available, click on load from from here, search for the animate div. Like right there, you can see it. Mine is already pre-installed. You just need to click install and it's all. Sometimes you may wait a little bit time till it's done loading all necessary libraries. Same things you want to do for React. After they install it, you can verify that all installed in your um, extensions list. So like right here, we can see we have it installed animate div and we also have it installed our reactor. In some cases, you will require to restart your service, but it's very really rarely necessary. After you're done and you restart, reload your UI, you'll notice you'll have a drop down animate div and reactor. So let's go ahead first. We'll just try and see how our animate div is work. We are using currently stable diffusion after Magic 11 11 installations. We said deliberate as a checkpoint. So we're going to generate beautiful princess, close up portrait, gold, porcelain, white crown, rich in details, photorealistic. Also, we're going to use the DM plus plus DM cars and we'll set to about 45 steps. Next, we want to our height set to 768 just for the portrait more, a little bit more vertically away. Let's go ahead and click generate. And you can see right here we have a beautiful portrait. I want to preserve this and use it in the future for this. I'm going to click on a seed and it will save our seed number. The nice thing about seed, if we're going to generate again with the same settings on the same seed, we should have it very close up to our previous image. Next, we want to um, replace the face and for this React will work excellent. We're going to expand our extensions and I'm going to drag and uh, portraits of myself. Well, it is still be very handsome face, maybe not as young as in a portrait, but should work. Now. I'm going to enable this. Next, we'll ignore Safe Original. Safe Original will just take this image and save it before replacing face. Also, we don't need to use the face. We have just one face, one face. So we leave it zero in zero as well. I'll just leave it this unchecked and restore faces on code former. Everything as default. After all the settings set, we'll go ahead and click generate. And as this done, you can see we have a beautiful princess with mustache and it strangely look just like me. So this is fun and interesting way to swipe faces, but it's more interesting when we can pre-animate this. For this, we're going to use the animate div. Let's go ahead, click expand. And by the way, if you have any problem install any of those extensions, I will provide for you a link down below on my video how to install them. So just in case you can install and debug and see if anything going wrong. So as a motion model, I'm going to select animate div motion. You'll notice I have more than one model and you can download those models from Civit AI. For this, I do recommend for you to use this uh, extension Civit AI. It's very easy. All what you need to do, going down, select what you're looking for. In this case, I was looking for the motion. So I'm going to select motion module. Next, you'll just need to go search and you can see several motion modules appear and you can pre-select and use them. Install is very easy. You can see right here I have a two pre-installed. So if I want to install one more, I need to just select this module and click on download model. Depend on your connections, mostly it will happen quite a bit fast because usually those motion models not as large as normal checkpoints. After you install a new model, 
you can go back to your text text generation click on refresh and if you open you'll notice right here you have more different models all what you need to use it's a ckpt checkpoint models and just play with them see which one you like it the best i will leave it for default what we used before okay, let's go ahead next below you notice we can animate enable our animations and let's put 24 frames with 8 frames per second it's give it us three seconds of animation we also have it our loop enable and close loop so its animation will be looped around a little bit however when we're using the face replacement sometimes it does not work as well okay i think this is look good let's go ahead and click generate as it's processing it should a little bit slow down on the end and reason at this time you can see the react going to replace our faces swapping so it's what happened right here our image template is done and it's just swapping images faces and here we have our result you can see it's a beautiful princess with the animations so it's kind of very fun way to create to take your face and put it on animations to take some interesting effects beside that we can also try to use the videos as a path for our animation so let's do this way first i want to disable for now our face replacement to react next we'll go ahead and drag and drop the video we want to use it again here's a video of me and it's about seven seconds okay notice as the creating it is calculating how many frames currently use it which is kind of nice also we have it can take a batch size and a batch size it's where to take all those files put it some frames and based on those frames calculate it um, in how much they resemble to each other so we actually want to maybe pop up this to about 24 to make them a little bit bigger also it is currently around 30 frames per second and this should take a little bit time to render and i think it will be very interesting experiment so i will leave it but like this maybe just you know increase this to about a little bit higher maybe 864 so it's more resemble our original video just a little bit longer but, mm, i'm still kind of thinking maybe let's go 768 again go back to this just for the time it save a little bit and i'm going to drop from 45 to 35 again to just save a little bit on the time and just have it more fun i'm going to have it random seed so its image will create something new i think it's going to be fun we'll leave it all same for the our princess and i'll click on generate so this is, will take a little bit time and i'm going to pause and go take a little break and right here we have it our video generated you notice it does use our 210 frames and if you look on this image i mean animations and we play you'll notice what it does it's kind of turn around it's not necessarily going with eyes blinking i don't think it's going as well for that we actually want to use like control net to control this stuff but generally i think it's work very good let's go ahead and take one step other from this so right here we have it our shutter and quarter and this is what we're going to use to take our video and split on the segments after separation is completed we need to go down to the control net let's find our control net here and in control net we want actually to use um batch so we'll go select batch putting in the path for those frames next we want to use it open pose and what i want to do instead open pose full we'll just go and use it face for now because sort of we're going to do a close-up portrait and we'll just have it control that more important leave it here we we'll leave it video in and you know what let's go enable our face swap okay i think we're all set this is again will take a little bit of time and i'm going to click generate now and right here are our test animations you can see we have it nice integrity on the 
face, the eyes actually working properly, even blinking was kind of going through, through the video movements. I think it's a work overall not bad with this. Of course, we don't have a, that much consistency, I think, with the background. We need to rework on this a little bit more. But generally, I think it's a very interesting way we can take and combine everything together, all of these extensions, to work as one to produce for us some unusual video. Well, thank you for watching this. Hopefully, you enjoy. Hopefully, this was more entertainment for you and learn something new. And if you do, please subscribe. Have a like, share this video. Your support is greatly appreciated. Have a great day.